if the materialist is right, and if the entirety of the physical universe will either disappear by, they say, freeze or fry, and the freeze is just the expansion into forever and the dissolution of all bodies in a trillion years, even the black holes dissolve, and in the 40th or maybe a Googleplex, all atomic particles disintegrate, and so there's absolutely nothing left, and that's the so-called freeze. And dark energy was the theory that's keeping that going. Recently, there's been some possible data that shows that dark energy may be, may be changing, may, may be not steady, and therefore the possibility that the other direction is now, again, a little, may be right. The data, we're not sure, just announced a few weeks ago. And that would be, but that would be a big crunch, and everything would just come back to that single spot that Alan had the documentary at the beginning, and everything would disappear. So if everything is destined to disappear, either by freeze or fry, is there value for what had previously happened? Of course there is. What about the moment? I mean, I used to think that only things that were permanent had value, but the moment is important. I mean, what I know is that I feel pleasure and pain right at this moment. And by pleasure, I don't just mean eating good food. I mean, you know, intellectual pleasure. So that has value because I feel it moment by moment. And I don't care whether the sun burns out in five billion years or all the black holes and everything else disintegrate. I mean, if you, if you believe it, that everything is impermanent, which is a strongly Buddhist point of view, then the moment is all that we have. And we, we really don't appreciate the moment sufficiently. Yeah, but there, there is in Buddhism, there's no self, but there is a continuity of something that lasts forever that is, has always been there. Fundamental awareness, non-dual. But what I'd rather talk about is what my mom, I told you what my mom said. This is going in the new book. She lost her short-term memory and um, lived in a bliss bubble, talking to dead people, traveling the astral plane for about six years, reporting on it verbally. And I said to her, she had been an anxious woman her whole life. And I said to her, you know, you're even smiling when you sleep. How do you stay so happy? And she said, well, I no longer worry about the future and I can't remember the past. So all I have is the now. And when you live in the now, you're happy.